from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. Tourism Minister Diagola tried to intervene in the situation on Paradise Island, which has cabbage beach vendors up in arms. Access to the beach blocked by a company that owns land on the island. The vendors are supposed to return to work next month sometime. The tourism minister didn't see this coming. Denise Diagola was completely blindsided by this recent development at Cabbage Beach. I had no idea that this was going to happen until my phone started to blow up this morning about a fence being erected and access to Cabbage Beach being denied. The company involved Access Industries has released a statement saying the access was closed due to safety concerns during ongoing construction. The minister says this is unacceptable. He's spoken with company officials and has urged them to take another look at that situation. Police explaining why they did not report a murder that happened on St. James Road here in the capital over the weekend. They're confirming it now. 29-year-old Francisco Smith was shot and killed in the incident. Assistant Superintendent Audley Peters telling the Tribune the murder did happen, but they didn't report it because the incident didn't come to the attention of police through the regular channels. Another matter police trying to deal with is the fatal shooting of Ernesto Charles in the Chippingham area here in the capital this week. He was armed with a cutlass. The mother of the victim is now speaking up, questioning the tactics used by police in that incident. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials reporting another 17 confirmed coronavirus cases for Tuesday, 14 in the capital, one each for Grand Bahama, Bimini, and Andros. The hospital numbers go back up. 40 persons are now in, with four still in the ICU. The death toll is now 240. A 38-year-old Bimini woman is the latest to die from the virus. Closing stages of the budget debate in the House, Prime Minister Minnis expected to end it today, and he's expected to make some major corona-related announcements during that closing. Before technical difficulties forced an earlier-than-scheduled suspension of the House proceedings yesterday, Health Minister Wells revealed just how much the government is paying to health care workers involved in the initial response to the coronavirus outbreak in the country. Mr. Speaker, we will pay out some $640,600 to 143 frontline health care workers who stepped forward initially when others were somewhat tepid. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. That weather system to the north still impacting all weather. Mostly cloudy, thunderstorms are likely, highs of the mid to upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call insurance management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. News. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, U.S. President Biden back in the U.S. now following that overseas trip that wrapped up with a meeting with Russian President Putin in Geneva yesterday. The president happy with the outcome of that meeting, telling the media they found some common ground in those talks. There was no hostility. The U.S. dealing with soaring temperatures in the western part of our country, triple-digit temperatures in the area expected to be around through the weekend. More issues in Hong Kong. A number of opposition leaders have been taken into custody there, increasing tension with mainland China. Tribune's gas tracker prices shell is now at 509. That's an 18 cent increase on the gallon price. Esso at 501. Rubus at five dollars and one cent per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. An update on John Quell Jones and what she's doing away from the WNBA. 
She's playing in a tournament in Europe representing Bosnia. Jazz and the Marlins had no offense in St. Louis yesterday. Shut out by the Cardinals. He was 0 for 4. They're headed for Chicago next. Get the details on the rest of the Major League Baseball results. There's the latest on the NBA playoffs in the Tribune Sports. The Hawks get a big comeback win over the Sixers. And the latest on the Olympics, plus a report on the U.S. Open Golf Tournament that begins today, all in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.